We normally do around this 8.30 time on Wednesday mornings. We do have somebody from the Dakota College of Botno, and we have, we have um, uh, Jim Holbin on the phone this morning. Good morning, Jim. How are you? I am great. How are you this yeah, morning? Doing fine. Looking forward to uh, a long holiday weekend coming up. We might see a little bit of rainfall, but that can always change. I, I mean, you know what? I think it's time to break out the grill on Monday anyway, the unofficial start of summer. So I think that's probably going to happen. But um, with, with, with the college year done, and as we look forward to the next, um, the, the next school year starting later on, um, there are still plenty of online things to do. Is that is that correct, Jim? Yes, that is correct here. I am with the uh, Caregiver Services Program mm -hmm. up there at Dakota College at Botno. I've uh, been with the program for quite a few years. Uh, it is an online program. We have sometimes students that are dual credit that are enrolled in the program, but we also have individuals that are enrolled in the program that want to get an associate's applied to Associates of Applied Science degree in caregiver services. Okay. How, how long of a, of a program is this? This is a two-year program. Okay. All right. Um, Go ahead. I'm sorry. It is, is it, yes. It's a two-year program. Uh, they're at Dakota College of Botano. All the classes are online, so the individual does not would not need to come to campus up there in Botano. However, you know, they... You know, and I've had students from all over the, the state and all over the U.S. that have mm -hmm. been enrolled in the program at different times. Okay, so so after two years, um, they they can they can uh, earn their degree, and uh, what 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 can they expect uh, afterwards? I mean, what kind of services are, are we looking at? One of the things that they can do is they can, with this degree, they can and a little bit more additional training, they can become a qualified service provider and, or a direct support professional. And those are individuals that may work in a, uh, they could work in a community, they mm -hmm. may work in a nursing facility, maybe as a certified nursing assistant. Um, they may also uh, provide services for individuals in their homes um, as a qualified service provider. And those types of things that they may be involved with it would be you know personal cares uh, assistance with money management shopping maybe assistance with non-medical appointments and things like that so it's a uh, degree that allows individuals to remain in their homes and then the services are provided in the community for them by the qualified service provider or the direct support professional a direct support professional would be an individual that maybe works for um, or a qualified service provider could also work for an agency, but they could also, mm -hmm. as a qualified service provider, work for themselves. Um, as a direct support professional, most generally you're going to work for an agency that provides services for individuals with developmental or intellectual disabilities. Okay, so uh, like independent contractors or something like that. I mean, you could you could work right. through an agency. Okay, all right. And this would allow you the opportunity to pretty much work all over the country, wouldn't it? Um, yes, all over the, you know, we're in great need in North Dakota for caregivers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a caregiver can be a family member, but it could also be an individual that works for themselves or, a, or an agency. Um, you know, we're in great need for qualified service professionals and direct, direct support professionals for the um, individuals here in North Dakota. And mm -hmm. so, you, and you could also work in other states, too. Sure. As you as, as you stated. Yeah, and, and and something like this, just for a, a two year a two year course, I mean, you are you are um, you are greatly helping uh, again potentially somebody that you know, or just to uh, just to be that person who who comes into somebody's life and becomes their caregiver. That that's that's a that's a very important uh, a very important thing to do for somebody that you that you may have never met before. That that is uh, that is correct. Um, you know, as I had said, there's a great need for caregivers in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. You know, we do have a lot of unofficial caregivers. You know, you know that are family members or friends or neighbors or things like that. But this is a way to actually become a professional caregiver and um, have a have a degree and be able to to work in the in the field of of human services. Wow. Okay. So, uh, if if we wanted a little more information on this uh, program, Jim, who who would we contact? 
you could certainly contact me or you could certainly contact Dakota College at Botano. Um, their admissions uh, number is uh, 1-800-542-6866 or uh, my number is 701-269-8845. And I'm sure they could always check out the website, dakotacollege.edu, for more information as well, correct? That is correct. Okay. Jim, well, thank you so much for your time this morning. I, I know that uh, uh, with the summer fast approaching, you probably have some plans for the summer, yes? Yes, I do. All right. Well, you don't have to tell us. I just, I'm just curious. But uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure whatever it is, it's going to be a, a fun-filled summer, and uh, I wish you the best, and we'll chat again somewhere down the road. All right, Jim? All right. That sounds great. All right, thank buddy. you. You bet. Take care of yourself, bud. Mm-hmm, bye. Okay, bye-bye. That is Jim Holbin. He is the uh, Caregiver Service Program Director at Dakota College of Botano. Again, check out the website, dakotacollege.edu, that, and that's the Caregiver Service Program at Dakota College of Botano. Into our next seven-day four.